Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ingborg. The channel's name is A Stitch Too Far and I'm going to be talking about all kinds of stitching today. Uh, I'm trying to remember the last time I made a, a regular floss tube update and I'm actually not sure. <laughs> So I have gathered around me everything I have collected, received, stashed, stitched on um, in the past month. I think it's been that long. I hope you're all doing well. I have been dealing with uh, retreat withdrawals, withdrawals, that's hard to say. Although my doctor thinks it's the flu with a little bit of bronchitis. <coughs> So I might be coughing a bit in this video, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, that's what you got a warm drink for, right? Cheers. Um, I feel a bit out of practice, so this might be a bit of a jumbled mess. We'll figure it out. Um, retreat was now two weeks ago. It's, by the way, it's Easter Sunday. It's the 1st of April. No joke. Gosh, it's April already. Anyway, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's difficult to come down from the greatness of the retreat. <laughs> Although um, with me being sick, I did spend a lot of time just in bed and sleeping. So. It feels like a long time ago already, so I have surrounded myself with some goodies that I received. Like all the beautiful mugs that I got. There's more. And I bet no one has this one and I don't have any Starbucks mugs except the giant S one from Qatar. <laughs> Anyway, and not to mention all the beautiful goodies I forgot to show last time. These are oh, by Orietta's husband, who is uh, who does watercoloring in his spare time, and he made us all beautiful bookmarks. And I managed to snatch these, and I wanted to show you up close what Noreen made for me. Gorgeous little ornament, beautiful. I still need to learn a lot about finishing when I look at these. And this is of course from Laura, Messy Situation. Love it, beautifully finished as well. So yeah, these are gonna go, I need to find a good spot for these kind of little cushions because I have a shelf in my uh, hallway but I don't know I might have to figure something out anyway thanks again ladies um, yeah I have been stitching a bit but before the retreat I was kind of busy and sort of scatterbrained so I didn't really do a lot of stitching but I will show you what I think I've worked on and I need to show you what I worked on at retreat which was all in all about a hundred stitches maybe that I made but I did finish this week the little uh, pattern that Joke made for us uh, in my LNS Bordeaux Paradise I will link it below um, she offers this for sale as well now I think yeah, this is the, I picked a multicolored, oh, that's a pattern. <laughs> I told you I'm out of practice. I picked a multicolored a skein with all colors of the rainbow in it, basically. And I love it. I still have a lot left. I think this is about half of what I received. So yeah, maybe I can do another one of these. But this is my finish. Love it. I'm gonna have to look for a way to finish it. Although I have something in mind that might work. So, I'll try that. 
Um, uh, I think before retreat, I did work on the my uh, Rajasthan Lotus poem. I think it's called by. Uh, oh my gosh, Chatelaine Martina, who, who sadly passed. Excuse me, passed away last year. So this is how far I got now. I don't think you've seen this before. I showed it on Instagram though. This is one of the elephants. I finished all the border, although I do need to do the metallics and the beads in the border. And I still need to work on this border as well. But yeah, I really loved, really enjoyed working on this little elephant. Beautifully detailed. But I have come across some issues with trying to figure out her design, um, especially the backstitch parts and specialty stitch parts use colors that are used. There are like three backstitch lines that she uses in a pattern, which are all a variety of yellow. But if you, if they're not next to each other, I can't tell which is which. And she didn't specify in her instructions, so. I think I might have to join Facebook <laughs> and join the, the the group online there to ask them uh, if anyone has any experience and knows what they did to solve it. But yeah, not too excited about joining Facebook, <laughs> especially with the latest news. But yeah, uh, I think I also did about three stitches on tapestry, so I might as well show that. Um, I was work, I was trying to work on that before retreat, but my mind was so all over the place that I couldn't even, I didn't even finish. As I, as you see, I still have the thread on here. I didn't even finish the motif, but I started working on the birds over here. And uh, I think this is about the, the corner, something over here. So yeah, getting close to halfway point. And let me see, I don't know, I'm not sure if I worked on this one or not, but I thought I might as well show it, I don't know. <laughs> you, you won't mind if I worked on it or not. But yeah, this is uh, how far I am on my Coffee Saves Lives piece, the first in the series of Magical Elixir by, oh my gosh, what's her name? Beth Twist is her name and Heartstring Sampley is her company. I will add uh, all the information about what I'm stitching on in the description box as usual, but this is how far I'm getting. The fabric is being washed out a lot. It is not that all this light, it's a lot darker. And it has all these, as you can tell, splotches on it. It's by XJU Designs, XJU Designs on Etsy. I will link her too. And I finish, I'm working on the outer border and I need to finish a few more patterns in here. And then I will be done, so I might, when I pick this up, I might focus on the finish. Yeah. <coughs> and then the piece I worked on at retreat which you can't tell anything by from what I what I'm going to show you. <laughs> this is how far I got. <laughs> now, last time we had to get together, I started this and I worked on the blue bits and I filled in all the yellow bits this retreat. So well, got about a hundred stitches in all in all. Um, and this is a pattern from my LNS owner again. It's a bad photograph, but this is the long pattern with the elephants and the horse, and the, which reminded me of Rajasthan. And I, I start, I'm working on this. <laughs> so yeah, long, long, long way to go. 
but maybe Orietta will help me work on it when she starts this too because I know she bought it for herself yep gonna be a cut and paste video again because of the chat group who's still active which is awesome by the way but yeah so that's basically what I've been stitching on and the rest of my table is filled with all kinds of things that I ordered or received as gifts uh, and there's one more thing I wanted to mention I did, I did work on some other things too but I can't show you because they are secret gifts um, and I won't show them until they have been given um, so one thing that I have left over from the retreat is there was uh, lots of people have gifted all kinds of little patterns and big patterns and kits and everybody took what they wanted and then I <laughs> I uh, was left with these lovely things and I talked about it with the people at retreat who were still left and I'm gonna try and find a way to sell these and donate the, uh, the money that I get from it to a charity but I would like your opinion on how I could do that because I was thinking I could do like a D-Stash account like uh, Michelle Garrett did recently uh, but the only thing is that I don't have um, a company PayPal account so that means that if you uh, send me money from outside of the EU um, I get charged with costs, no matter how you send money to me. Um, so that would defeat the purpose. So if anyone has any experience on how to de-stash um, things without getting extra costs for, for payments or for overseas charges, uh, please let me know because that would come in handy. But for now I'm just going to hang on to them and maybe even for next year I will keep them and put them back on the table again. But yeah, I would like to find a way to raise some money if possible for charity. So that's that. Then um, yeah, let's just do some mail that I received. Uh, Earlier, before retreat, I already received a little gift from Laura, Messy Situation. And she sent me the best ever Valentine's Day card. I don't know if you can read it. But it says, I love you more than unicorns. <laughs> Which made me crack up. And she added this. And it's, I can't show the pattern, but I can show you that she picked this out of a magazine. I think it's Swigart magazine. And it's Renato, uh, in case anyone was wondering, Renato Parolin, or Parolin, I'm not sure how to say his name, but he is, I think he's Italian. Might be Swiss Italian, but yeah, it's a guy, and I love his patterns, and I love this one as well, and yeah, I'm going to stitch that. Thank you very much, Laura. And then I won a giveaway by... Sarah at Little Snips. I will link their channels below. And she had already contacted me before that with uh, because she had something that she found that she thought I might like. So she was smart enough to combine the shipping of this lovely Biscornu pattern that I won. And this. This is amazing. This is wonderful. I've been uh, looking through this and it has so many things that I would love to stitch. It also has some hard hanger pieces in here, like this one. I think it's this one is in here, right? Yeah. Love that because that is an Amy Bishop one and I, I she was on Fiber Talk recently and I was eyeing her patterns and this was one that I really liked. So Sarah, you read my mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate this. And of course, a lovely card that went with it. 
And then I have received two more fabrics of the month. So spoiler alert, if you are a member of the Fabric of the Month Club by XJ, XJU Designs uh, on Etsy. Uh, I am a part of the Primitive Colorway range and I received uh, February and March fabrics. And I'm going to show them now, so if you don't want to be spoiled, if you haven't seen them yet, uh, fast forward for about five minutes, I guess. Because this is the one that I received for March, which is absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. It's called, let me see what it's called. Oh, this is February. February. It's called Brown Sand. So you can't read that because it never focuses, but anyway. Yeah, it's too light. The lighting today is awful because it's a bit darker than this, but it is basically a dark gray with some brown mottling on it. And I love it, absolutely love it. It's more of a beige gray, like a brownish gray, I guess, but yes. Perfect, love it. And of course she adds extra goodies like this gorgeous lo white looking, but it's actually very light brown with some cream color. Uh, what's it called? Cafe Latte gift thread. Love it, love it, love it. This is 40 count linen. And I also received the one for March, which I also absolutely love, which comes with this beautiful light old blue thread called Deep Impact. And it is this beautiful white mustard. And it's gorgeous. It's really beautiful. Now it's everything is looking very white because of the bad lighting. And no, this is not working. <laughs> yeah, you get it a bit more. It's not that white. It's it's this this bit is a, a lot more yellow, soft yellow, and then this doesn't stand out as much as it does on on this picture. But yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Now, I I subscribed for three months. And I have been debating whether I would continue my subscription. And I have decided for the moment I am not going to, for several reasons. Um, some of them have to do with the fact that I will be going to New Jersey. And I will worry about uh, this being sent back because I won't be home to receive it and you have to sign for it. Other things are that I have been, I, I've been going through my fabric recently because I've been uh, kitting up a, a few projects and um, I have quite a bit of fabric and I, I love that I have some, some, something to choose from now, but I also don't want to keep adding more when I know I am not finishing enough, uh, fast enough to keep the pile at a, about a similar height. <laughs> so my pile of fabric just will be increasing while I'm not getting a chance to work on many, much project. So I decided for now I'm not going to renew, but I might change my mind when I see the next fabric of the month. <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah, that's my reasoning for now. I love the fabrics. So I will definitely keep shopping there, but I think I want to be shopping more with a purpose than just to get beautiful fabrics. Now that brings me to some other gifts that I received in the mail. Sorry if that rattles a bit too much, but my dear friend Lori had already sent me a beautiful card earlier in the month, which I loved. And then she added another one recently with some goodies in it. Uh, you might recognize this floss. This is DMC 115. 
and she used uh, this colorway to work on her piece for Canaan. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. The grandson. And she had a lot left over, so she sent me some, which I definitely appreciate. Thank you very much, Lori. I will get back to that later. She also sent me, like I need this, <laughs> uh, some candies that we don't have over here, as far as I'm aware. So I thought I would give this a taste test live on camera. Now this is the one I'm worried about the most because this is caramel with nuts and I think chocolate on top. Yeah, this could be dangerous. <laughs> this sounds like stroopwafel kind of level. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it already smells really wonderful and they are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Mm. Yep, <laughs> dangerous. There's like um, a chocolate praline kind of filling on the bottom and then it's topped with caramel and it's surrounded with chocolate. So, wonderful. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have opened that one. Now these. I've heard of, but I don't think I've ever tried these. Because they are a peanut butter candy. Although we love peanut butter over here, we don't have peanut butter candy. I think. I'm not aware of any. So I am very curious see if they are anything like peanut butter and sprinkle on my sandwich. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, people are chatting again. But yeah, I was saying, oh, they look like M&Ms. That's not at all what I was expecting. I like them. They taste like M&M's, but then they taste like the peanut M&M's without the whole peanut in them. Oh yeah. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> very dangerous. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you very much, Laurie. <laughs> so, I had messaged Laurie already to tell her I was looking for something to use these for and I have found it because I was actually going through my patterns because of some yeah we're gonna keep going <laughs> I don't know but apparently it's uh, one o'clock and apparently people are waking up or something because the chat is getting active again but yeah let's try and get through this um, Tina, uh, Simply in Stitches, um, uh, told me she was going to start. Yeah, try again. <laughs> I thought I might get through without too much hassle, but I, I hope that now I've fixed the messages again, so I won't be interrupted all the time. Sorry about that. But as I was trying to say, Tina from Simply and Stitches messaged me that she was starting her modern folk embroidery Jane Austen piece, that she was planning on starting it. And I said, I have that one too, maybe we can start it together. Well, I think she suggested it. And of course I would love that, so I was rummaging around to find that pattern and I found also this one, which I have bought a while back. These are also modern folk embroidery, these are the Minster. Patterns, chapter house tiles. Sorry for the glare. I love these. These are from the York Minster, the church, the cathedral. Some of the tiles in there inspired him to make these designs. And I thought this would be a really nice color to do one of the tiles in. And I went rummaging through my stash of fabrics and I 
figure that this Rocky Mountain, oh, geez. Rocky Mountain by XU Design. This is a 40 count linen. Mm, it's showing up a bit light, but it's uh, like a cream, cream color. I think this would look lovely on it. So Lori, I think I'm going to do that with your lovely floss. Thank you very much. Um, and I kind of like the idea that it's a church pattern, although I'm not that religious. I kind of like the fact that I'm using your colors for a church pattern. So probably we'll be starting that this month. And the other one that I'm going to start is what the one I just mentioned is the other one from Modern Folk Embroidery. This is the Real Comfort Jane Austen sampler. I love this piece and I will stitch it without the uh, alphabet. So I'm just going to stitch this part. And I had in mind a dark green for it. And I went shopping at my LNS and I brought some fabrics to try out and I Luckily have in my stash this picture this plus fabric, which is not legacy is Regency, which has a greenish, which you can't see, but it has a greenish hue to it. Oh my God, the light in here is just really sucky today. Sorry. But we were tossing some floss around. <laughs> And this is what I found. I, I, I originally only grabbed this. This is no, this is looking quite close to accurate colors. This is dill. And then she threw in this one because she knows colors like nobody's business. And oh my gosh, love that. That is called extra, which is a bird type of bird. Try, I'll try and look it up. It's one of those black and white birds that like shiny things and steal shiny things. And it is a dark, dark purple with dark, dark green mixed into it. And I love it. And the combination with this, I love too. I'm not going to need this much, but I figured if I like the combination, I might want to use it for other things. So why not get some more? And this is going on here. And I will probably use mostly the dark purple thread and use, I was looking at the pattern and I think I might try the green for the, for this leafy border, just for that only, just to give it, to mix it up a bit. But yeah, I will be starting this with Tina, uh, if she lets me, <laughs> on her birthday, which is April 17th. And I'm going to love that. And then I think that's almost everything I wanted to mention. And my coffee is gone as well. <coughs> Excuse me. No, it's not. But there's, uh, there's one more thing on my table, which took me by surprise. Because Kathleen at Kathleen Stroden Trail contacted me a while back and said she had uh, she had seen something that she that made her think of me and it was just a small thing and would I mind if I if she sent it along to me I'm like sure I'd love to and then I think not this week but last week it got to me and if someone says a small thing, I think of something like this, which is lovely, which she made for me, which is absolutely gorgeous. And she finished it off with some bling and her name. Love this, Kathleen. Love this very much. Thank you so much. Or maybe a little Mill Hill kit, which I also very much love, the Monarch Butterfly. Love this. I look forward to stitching this. And, you know, a little funny card. Which I also, also loved. But I did not think that this was a tiny thing, Kathleen. And I love it. 
and I will treasure this. And it's got some nice little chocolates inside as well. Ooh. One of those, what do you call them? Dove hearts. But oh my gosh. That is so sweet of you, Kathleen. I can't thank you enough for this. This is absolutely wonderful. And I will cherish it. And I will definitely have a few cups of coffee while watching you. Uh, so thank you very much. I don't, yeah, that was totally unexpected. And you shouldn't have. But I love you for it anyway. <laughs> uh, so that is what I've been receiving. Also, and that's not all because... I have been sick for the past week and a half or so, and when I didn't do a lot, but I, when I got a little bit better, and of course I went shopping online, and I was in a Biscornu mood, and I just received some of the Biscornus that I ordered, and I can't show them because they are all um, only just the patterns. I will try and find some pictures to add, but... Um, if you are looking for, oh, there's some examples on the back here. Uh, this is a Dutch designer called Alita. And she has a beautiful shop with all sorts of beautiful designs. And this is the, I hope you I hope that is in focus. But this is the, I'll add her shop below. So have a look because they are absolutely wonderful. Her service is excellent. I received them within a day after ordering them and the patterns are very clear she, uh, she also provides instructions in dutch if you need them for how to make a biscornu the prices are exceptionally reasonable so please go check her out i will link her below but yeah i um for the rest i have been really good I didn't buy, I only bought one thing during retreat, which I can't show because it's a present. But yesterday I was, yeah, yesterday I went to find those flosses and I also got these uh, Jobelin fabrics. These are 28 counts for Hardanger pieces that I'm thinking of doing. And that's about all that I have been buying. So yeah, pretty decent. Um, and everybody was talking about how they enjoyed all the releases at market and I must say I wasn't very enthusiastic about most of the things I saw. I, I didn't see anything there this year that I thought, oh my gosh, I need that. And I did last year with uh, several pieces, including the Coffee Quaker and the Dragons of Sumatra. And I was really looking forward to the... Um, Ink Circles release of the Forest of Sumatra, I think it's called. Because I'd seen a preview of that on Instagram and I loved it. And then I saw the pattern and... Yeah. Um, there was something with it that I couldn't put my finger on until I was talking about it with someone. And it, it, I think it's... Um, it's busy, but it's also missing some sort of structure that because Dragons of Sumatra is also all kinds of patterns interlocked together, but somehow they there's balance in how they are interlocked. And for this piece, I didn't feel there was balance. Because on the bottom row you have you have mainly all these triangle triangular patterns, and on the top is all kind of loose things and one more triangle pattern I think. So I think for me that was a bit of a disappointment and I have been looking at it and looking at it and I think I might get it still and just do the bottom half with all the triangle pieces in it. But I'm not sure. So yeah, and that there were some things that there was a Jeanette Douglas piece that I liked but I didn't love. You know, I didn't have that urge to really get it. So. I guess that's good for me <laughs> and I'm sure that um, what's also involved is that uh, you know I've been saving for New Jersey so I try not to spend as much as I would normally to save up and buy all the things when I get there <laughs> but yeah so maybe that's just a factor of it all but yeah don't know market wasn't really 
that exciting for me this year. But yeah, that's basically all I thought I needed to share with you. Also, uh, I wanted to mention this because uh, normally I try and uh, get back to people that have sent me stuff and send them something in return and I haven't been able to keep up with that recently. So if you have sent me something in the past and you haven't heard back from me, first of all, that's that's not my intention. So please forgive me if I, if I didn't do that. Um, but I have a list of people <laughs> that I want to send thank yous to uh, and you're on it probably. So hopefully be a bit patient with me and I will get to you. And then it will be more of a surprise if you get something from me anyway. Just saying. But yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything left that I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Uh, because you know when your retreat is a success. When within two weeks after. One of the people attending starts up their own Etsy shop and starts selling their own patterns. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, go check out the Etsy shop that I will put the name up over here and link below of Deborah who just started making her own designs which are lovely and funny and go check her out and send them some, some floss to blow. Um, she got some, I think she's got three out now, and two, at least two, I'm sure of, I think three. Yeah, lovely. Um, that's about everything I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, there was one more thing that I wanted to start with and then I forgot, of course, because uh, I still need to go back and answer a lot of comments. I'm behind because of I've been sick and busy. Um, I will get to them and, and then I do apologize for that. I will try to get back into the habit of filming regularly and answering regularly. Uh, but there were a few people who were asking about how many nationalities were at our retreat. So let's count. Uh, we had people from the Netherlands, we had people from Belgium, we had people from Germany, we had people... <coughs> Excuse me, now I don't have any coffee anymore. So Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, United Kingdom, United States, Qatar. I think that's it. If I'm forgetting anyone, I do apologize. So eight countries. That doesn't mean eight nationalities because the one in Qatar is English, but she lives in Qatar. Um, so yeah, beat that. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Um, but I'm going to stop yapping on about the retreat now because I'm sure there's other things to discuss. Anyway, I'm going to try and figure out how to edit this all together. And I hope you have a lovely Easter weekend and get lots of stitching done. We are having the baddest weather ever for, for Easter. It's been raining all morning and it hasn't stopped yet. So uh, I wasn't planning on going out anyway. So um, yeah, hope to see you again in two weeks. Um, I know still a lot of people are struggling with illness or other problems in their life. I uh, just wanted you to know I'm thinking of you, wishing you well and uh, Hope to see you again in two weeks. Bye, guys. <laughs>